Hello, I'm Marek Mularczyk and welcome to another episode of Photoshop Lightroom TV, your video podcast about anything Photoshop Lightroom, Adobe Bridge as well. And this time, in this episode of Photoshop Lightroom TV, I want to show you something in Adobe Bridge. Strangely enough, uh, some of the videos I did about Bridge are some of the most popular videos, some of the my most popular videos. So what I want to talk about is probably the biggest feature instead of Adobe Bridge. And I'm going to do another video with some other insights into Bridge. Something that's not often used. People will usually say, when I ask people on the courses, for example, at Bridge, people just say, I never used it, or I tried it, opened it, didn't, doesn't do much, really. So I'm going to show you an amazing feature instead of Bridge. So for example, I'm here in Explorer, or this could be Finder on a Mac, and I'm looking at this folder that I use on my Lightroom courses. I've got a subfolder called Day 1 and Day 2 and a memory card as well. I've got some images inside and I can only see one folder at a time. So I can go to Day 1, I can jump to say Day 2 or to the memory card. But I can't see all the content all the time. Even when I go to the preview mode in here, all you can see is just what's kind of there inside. So not much use in here. But here's something you can do in Bridge. So if I close this window, here in Bridge, I'm in the same folder, again, so I can go to day one or day two and check the content in here and mem card and so on. But what you can also do is you can tell Bridge to show you all the content inside the current location, even if it's in subfolders. Now before you do that, careful, don't do it to your entire hard drive, to your C drive because it may take forever to render it because Bridge will load thumbnails for all the content, for all the files you have in there. Okay, so choose a location where you don't have thousands or tens of thousands of files. So like in here, like in this case even, I don't know how many files I've got inside. Well, I could count, so go in here, so there's 29 in this folder here. I can go to day two, 32, so that's like 61 and 20 says like 81. But here's what we can do. I'll keep the folder open, I'll go to the view menu, and choose show items from subfolders. This will show you all the content inside this location. So these are all images, all 81 images. Now I'd say 84 because I still got these three folders, but there are 81 images and there's this file here as well. If you don't want to see the folders, you can go to view menu, and then you can do, 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 show untext show folders. So it doesn't show the folders, just the files inside. I'm going to leave it on. And that's where you can see all the content inside a specific location. We can see by this icon in here that it's showing everything inside this Lightroom folder. Very useful feature, something you can't get with Windows Explorer or Find on the Mac or anything else. Okay. That's it, really. So I'm going to turn it back off, show items from subfolders to go back to the location, to fold in here. And that's the tip for you for this time. Now, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, then share it or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And have a look on my website for more information about my Adobe Certified courses. Or have a look at my blog at photoshoplightroombridge.com. You may be watching it actually on the blog. <laughs> but anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'm Marek Mularczyk from SciTraining.co.uk and hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.